Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to the channel. I am Chris, the old school picker. The fourth quarter's over. Christmas is over. The holidays is over. It's time to get back to work. Stay tuned. I'll tell you all about it. All right, at the time of filming this, it is the Monday after Christmas. After Christmas, you guys will probably see it the next week, but that's okay. And uh, it's, if you go back and remember, it is brutally, brutally cold in the south right now. I got out here to the shop. Granted, I've not been out here in five days, six days, something like that. I've not even been out here in that long i took some time off so it was you know there's no heat been running in that time it was brutally cold out here uh the south has had record number of cold it was negative six degrees the other day at my house with a negative 25 wind chill factor i know you guys up north see the, those type temperatures all the time but us uh people in the south we're not used to that it gets cold down here especially up in the mountains where I'm at, I've never seen a negative wind chill factor of minus 25. Never in my life, not here. So anyways, it was 11 degrees in the shop this morning because I haven't been out here and I have been running the heat for a while. been out here for a few hours and it's 50 degrees right on the money. So that's doable, right? It's still cold. Uh, it's like 20 degrees outside. The shop heats up pretty quick, honestly, because it is insulated so well, but it gets extremely cold at nights because the cold air comes up through the floor. I'm going to remedy that problem next spring, or I'm going to try to anyways. I'm going to underpin the, between the outside walls and the ground. There's not a whole lot of space there, but that cold air gets under there for some reason and just comes up out of the floor and the floor is not insulated. So it's got to be where the cold air is coming from because the walls are insulated like crazy. And of course the ceilings insulated like crazy too. Anyways, we, uh, it's been a while since I've made a video. I think it's been since last Wednesday. So uh, like five, six days. Um, so a lot to talk about. Unfortunately, not a lot of sales. Like I said, yesterday for me was Christmas day. Christmas weekend, very, very, very few sales. Uh, some of that, I mean, fourth quarter is pretty much over, right? By the time you guys see it, it'll be over. And holidays are over. Christmas is over. So now back to reality, right? And that's getting to work. I've not, still not been actively listing, but I have been building that draft bank up. I just got in here earlier tonight, uh, excuse me, earlier today. And, uh, all the stuff that I've been listing over the last week, I put it under the skew numbers where it goes on the shelves, uh, on the shelves and in the tubs where it goes. And I'm saving all those listings as drafts. By the time you guys see this, I will probably have started. I'm going to try to list 10 items a day all year long next year. Somebody commented, I made a video about that and somebody commented 10 items a day. That ain't much. Well, it may not be to you, but to me, that's, that's a good number. Uh, I'm in a position. I don't have to list 20 items a day, 30 items a day. So if I list 10 items a day, I'll, I'll be doing good. Right. Keep in mind too, at the time of filming this, I have 950 listings. So it's not like I'm starting from zero listings and trying to build up my store with 10 a day. I'm just trying to maintain. I sell on average six, seven a day, somewhere in that range. So if I list 10 a day, I'm actually gaining ground on it. And I will probably just list 10 a day, five days a week. If I get my draft bank built up extremely high, then I can drop 10 on Saturdays and Sundays as well. But as I said, I've been out here putting up the items on the shelves where they go on the right SKU numbers. But speaking of shelves, we had some more people sign up for the shelf membership. So thank you so much. The rat resale over on eBay. So I appreciate it, my friend. Behold and Resold. I love that. Behold and Resold. He's on YouTube, Instagram, and eBay. So thank you very much. Nuga Picker, which is a local guy to me. 
somewhat local. I'm assuming you're in Chattanooga. I'm in Crossville, Tennessee, so not too far away. But I used to live in a little town called Pikeville, and I used to go to Chattanooga all the time. I don't go to Chattanooga as much now since I live out here. It's a little further away, but yeah, we're only... If he lives in Chattanooga, we're only a few hours apart. So I appreciate you. I will call you uh, local <laughs> because you're local somewhat to me. And our good friends, Lucky7 Auction. That is Nathaniel and Ashley, longtime supporters. So I appreciate you guys so much. And they sent me a Christmas card. So I do want to mention that. I appreciate it. Sent me a beautiful picture of their little daughter. I have that inside, I believe. And also Scott and Christina over at Trading Post Pickers. I appreciate you guys so much. They sent not only uh, me, not only, excuse me, not only me and my wife a Christmas card, but they also sent Kobe a Christmas card. So I appreciate it, Scott and Christina. And inside both cards were Visa gift cards. You guys shouldn't have done that, but I do want you to know I appreciate it. They sent Kobe a Visa gift card. And me and Shannon, a Visa gift card as well. So Scott and Christina, I appreciate you guys so much. Trading post pickers. Everybody go check them out. And everybody go check out all these guys over on eBay and YouTube and wherever. Thank you again uh, for the card, Nathaniel and Ashley. And speaking of cards, our good friend Kathy sent me some more stuff. So thank you so much, Kathy. Kathy made me another card wishing you a joyous holiday from our house to yours. I hope you have a lovely holiday with your family and friends. I'll see you on YouTube. So thank you, Kathy, if you're watching this. And I know you are eventually, right? Kathy watches every one of my videos and I appreciate it. But Kathy sent me a bunch more crafting stuff. And I think, I think some of it may be stamping up. I'm not sure. No, I think most of it's just other brands, but I've had a lot of luck with those other brands and sent me all kinds of stuff, including that. What is that? A paper cutter, I believe. So all kinds more stuff to list and uh, sell. So Kathy, thank you very much. Uh, Kathy has sent me boxes and boxes and boxes of crafting stuff that I sell just about every video. So, Kathy, I want you to know I appreciate you, and I hope you had a wonderful Christmas. I do want to also uh, shout out uh, I Buy Chit. <laughs> you got to be careful how you say that. Chit. C-H-I-T. I Buy Chit. He signed up for the basic membership, so I appreciate you so much, my friend. So, a wonderful weekend. A uh, great Christmas. Had a great time. Uh, took some time off. Just turned off YouTube. Turned off eBay. Turned off facebook instagram i got so many messages from on facebook and instagram wishing me a merry christmas and i appreciate each and every one of you guys don't want to shout out all you guys because i know i'll forget somebody uh got a ton of christmas cards in the mail appreciate all the support and all the love that you guys have showed me and my family during the holidays and during the 2022 year i appreciate it Unfortunately, the sales wasn't great this weekend, but like I said, now this is Christmas weekend, right? At the time of filming this. So only seven orders for $159, $160. So we're going to pull those, get started pulling those, and um, probably going to uh, start working after I get done shipping. And this video, I'm probably going to start... Uh, doing some more drafts and getting that draft bank built up and uh, start dropping some new inventory. I don't think I've listed really anything the whole month of December. Well, I take that back. I listed one, two, three, four days in the whole month of December, four days. And then all the rest was working on the draft bank. At the time of filming this, I think I have about 150 items in the draft bank. Now, once the first of the year hits, I'm going to try to actively list 10 items a day in those days i don't get to list that's when i'll pull from that draft bank so i will probably be actively listing a lot of days um and some days like tuesdays i list you know 20 30 items i'll only drop 10 of those items and the rest of those will go in the draft bank for a later time 
So we do have seven orders going out. So I'm happy with seven, right? Um, it's better than zero. <laughs> it's a tough weekend. I mean, Christmas weekend, you know, everybody's doing stuff with family and friends and opening presents and eating, watching football. You know, a lot, I'd say a lot of people had some very slow sales during the Christmas weekend. So I'm not worried about it. I do need to get some new inventory up quick, though. And the first order going out is in the Craven Cards shelf over on eBay. So Craven Cards, I appreciate it. And I believe it's going to be this one right here. It's Johnny West stuff. I love selling that stuff. Johnny West, best of the West, brown saddle, shotgun sheath, carrying case, uh, bag case. Somebody in the comments uh, in one of my videos, and I cannot remember who it was, and I apologize, said that they had been selling some Johnny West accessories. So I thought that was really cool because this stuff's pretty rare. So that's awesome that somebody else out there found some of this stuff. It sells okay. I mean, it, there's a definitely a market for it, but this is a shotgun sheath that would ride on the side of a horse. Pretty awesome brown. I think I have a black one of these as well. And this one sold for $7.99 plus shipping. Let me know in the comments who it was because I've done forgot and I apologize. But somebody told me they found some Johnny West stuff and have been selling it. So pretty, pretty cool. Next item is right up here behind you guys. And I think it's going to be that figure right there. Oh boy. Going to knock them all over. Uh, my shelf up here above you guys is a Jenga. <laughs> you pull one figure and about four more fall. So that's okay. I always get them stood back up. Anyways, 1992 Kenner Batman Returns Catwoman action figure. Just loose action figure. Only no weapons, no accessories. Pretty cool though. That is uh, Michelle Pfeiffer, by the way. And it's up for $4.99 plus shipping. All right, Jessica, I'm going to fuss at you. I just got through shipping all my items. And I realized the Catwoman, that's right, it's a viewer sale. So Jessica, didn't leave me a note again, but I do appreciate you and uh, hope you enjoy the Catwoman figure. It's a pretty awesome figure. And uh, yeah, I got done shipping all my items. Look, all my items are shipped. And I realized this was a viewer sale. So thank you again, Jessica. C4, excited about this sale. Not because it's a lot of money, but it's the last. This may be the last of my CSA belt buckles. Uh, I still have these American flag ones. They came from that deal. But it is definitely the last Arkansas belt buckle I have left. And it may be the last CSA belt buckle that I have. I'm not sure, but man, I have sold a ton of these. Reduced them not too long ago just to get rid of the last ones I had left. And this one, Arkansas CSA belt buckle, 1860 to 1865. These are new old stock from 1999, a company called Enchantment. I've had pretty decent luck with these, and it sold for $8.99. Plus shipping, belt buckles will always be one of my favorite things to resell. They are so simple to list, ship, and really they don't take up much room as far as inventory goes either. Love, love selling them. Next order, K9, Don Tico, collectibles and finds. Love, love that. That is our good friend, Jessica Davis's eBay store. So Jessica, I sure do appreciate it. And uh, that's a shout out to her dad. I think that was her dad's nickname. So Don Tico, collectibles and finds. I love that. That is super, super fun to say, Jessica. And I told you guys in a few videos ago that uh, Christmas ornaments will sell after Christmas. Well, I sold one after Christmas. And it is this one is really, really super cute. It is Keeping Cozy. And it's Santa Claus warming his uh, tush up to a wood stove with a mouse hanging, up, hanging on to the side of the stove. That is super cute. Keeping Cozy, 1987 Santa lighted Hallmark keepsake Christmas ornament. And it's sold for $5.99 plus shipping. All right, next item, J3. Where are you at? Tiny Barn Treasures. So thank you guys so much. Everybody go check out their eBay store. Tiny Barn Treasures. I love that name as well. 
and I sold a shirt. Yay. Love, love sewing these Looney Tunes shirts. And this one is super special because that's right. It's a viewer sale. This one's going out to Tanya, our good friend Tanya. She left me a note. Hi, Chris. Buying this for a friend's birthday next month. He loves Looney Tunes and has a vintage button up that he wears often. So hoping he likes this t-shirt as well. By the way, my name is actually pronounced same as Tanya, even though it's spelled with two A's. So I apologize. I have been saying Tanya because that is how it's spelled, but it's Tanya. So thank you very much, Tanya, and my apologies. And I hope uh, your friend enjoys the shirt. Man, that's awesome. Love, love, love that. It did end up selling for $39.99 plus shipping. It is new with tags. It does have a couple of stains on it. So, uh, where it's been stored, but I listed that in the description. So I'm thinking Tanya knows that. It's really just right there on that collar though, that I think, and it does, it did have just a little bit of red fading on the back, but man, I'm not much. That is an awesome shirt. Tanya, I hope your friend enjoys it. And I appreciate you so much. All right, next item going out. H3, I sold a video game cheap little video game but uh didn't pay much for it i think i picked this up at a yard sale it was so random it was the only game they had i even asked if they had more games any i don't ask every yard sale if they have video games i don't but if i see like one or two video games you know i ask if they have more video game stuff i asked at this sale and i was like no nah, that's the only game we got <laughs> it was a dollar jurassic park sega game gear I was hoping it would be worth more being that it's Sega Game Gear because that is, you know, a pretty rare system. You don't just see that stuff laying around everywhere. And it's Jurassic Park. So I was disappointed when it only sold for $7.99 plus shipping. But paying a dollar for it, I still made money. So eight bucks plus shipping. And the last order going out today is, uh, let's see here. It's going to be one of these lots here, and I'm not real sure which one. I didn't look at the number. I think it's this one. And we'll talk about Stephen J78. Thank you very much, Stephen. I sure do appreciate your channel membership. That is his eBay uh, screen name. So everyone go check out Stephen J78. So I appreciate you, Stephen, so much. This is another one of those Warhammer book lots. Done really well with that. It actually came from the same place as uh, the Looney Tunes shirt. And this is Warhammer Paperback Lot Death Series CD Legacy and Messenger. CD Leg Legacy and Messenger, yes. So a three book lot and that book lot sold for $21.99. Plus shipping. All right, did have one more sale come in. I got all my items shipped, and uh, as I was getting ready to uh, pack it up, I did have another sale come in. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull it and add it to this video and get it shipped out of here. So at the end of the video, the totals won't include this because it came in after that. So anyways, it is a 1965 Chevy Lowrider model kit. This came from the huge diecast deal. It had a few models in it. Had a lot of interest in this model. Sent out a ton of offers, had a ton of offers, and finally settled on a price of $26.99 plus shipping. They got a pretty good deal on it, I believe. I don't know if it's complete or not, but uh, yeah, there's a lot of pieces in it. So I just sold it as is, $26.99 plus shipping. So that's it, that's it. One good thing about it, ain't gonna take me long to ship all that. Uh, appreciate it again, Tanya, not Tanya, Tanya. Hope your friend enjoys the t-shirt. But yeah, some quick shippers, so there's no reason I can't take some pictures today and get to listing a few more items and get that draft bank built up. That way I have no problem dropping 10 a day every day for the next year. <laughs> uh, it don't sound like a lot, but if you get behind on that, it can add up and it, you can get behind, way behind really, really quick. Let's keep in mind, not only do you have to list 50 items a week, 
That means, of course, I've got it in my death pile, but that means you have to buy 50 items a week. So, you know, you got to factor that in too. You know, those, I, even though we think our death pile just uh, multiplies on its own, that's not really how it happens, right? Uh, I've got plenty of items right now to do it, but uh, the spring and summer when I'm actually, I'm actively yard selling, garage selling, and actively buying stuff, that is going to cut into my time. So I got to keep that in mind as well. So I want to keep that draft bank built up and I want to list as many days as I can. That way I'm not pulling from that draft bank a whole lot, right? So I appreciate you guys watching. Special shout out to, to CJ. Uh, he got me some he got me a cool He-Man t-shirt as well for Christmas, but he got me that subscribe button and hit that like button. I love those, and I hung them up this morning, so thank you, CJ, for that. And I'll show you guys my He-Man t-shirt uh, when it's t-shirt weather, but I absolutely love it. So thank you, CJ. I appreciate you. Uh, proud of CJ. He's a good kid. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Let me know, once again, if you have not already, are you going to get on... I wonder how many people is going to get onto the momentum board because once once I drop those, uh, I'm going to erase all this, of course, but as I drop 10, 10, 10, I want to write the number of dollar amount, you know, 10 for 300, 10 for 200, how much ever the dollar amount adds up to that day, I will be filling this in. So how many people is going to get on a momentum board with me and get sales built back up we got a long ways to go i had seven sales this weekend so i've got to get that momentum building again and hopefully it won't take long so thank you guys for watching i appreciate you so much and as cj says don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button i sure would appreciate it old school maker.